Hello and welcome to the final part in our chapter 3 of the fire team tutorial series. In this final part we're going to fix a couple of bugs regarding our shooting and make it so our guns will now shoot in fully automatic mode, meaning I'll click and hold down the mouse button to shoot a continuous stream of bullets until they run out. So let's get started. Okay, so at the moment when we are playing the game, our gun is so far just a single shot, not, not fully auto. Um, also, when we kill the player, they can still shoot. And you can see the line traces happening on the server side. That's them shooting. But we don't want that to be the case. So let's first of all work on our gun being fully automatic. So we're going to open up our weapon base. And the way it's going to work is that on our primary fire, we've got is firing set the true. And it's going to be doing all this. This stuff on the true is going to be called start shooting. So let's take all of this here. And we're going to right click and uh, in fact actually no not right click uh, we do? yeah we'll right click on that and do collapse to function and this is going to be called start shooting okay and that's going to be on the true there now we want that to be looping around all the time whilst it is shooting those bullets out okay so on the start shooting when you go to branch here after this branch we're going to do a uh, set timer I event and open this up <clears throat> drag this around okay so um, that's that shooting out just fine we we'll take this event do create event and we're going to Create a matching uh, event, I guess we'll call it. And this would be a fire bullet event. This fire bullet event is going to trigger all the stuff we've done in the rest of it. So, ah, yeah, when you do create event inside a function, it will create the event inside the function, which will give you an error. Just cut it from there, and put it in your event graph. Like so. Then we want to go back to our start shooting and we're going to take all this stuff at the end here let's take this this copy this and we're going to put that onto the fire bullet okay here yep. okay so when we push the button you're going to start shooting start shooting is going to do a check to see if whether or not our counter mode is greater than zero. Uh, if it's not, that'll be like an automatic reload we'll make it do. Um, but on, then it'll do a timer. Now the timer for this is going to be the fire rate. So just promote that to a variable and that'll be fire rate. And we'll put a default value of say 0.1 for example. The create event, click and drop down and choose the fire bullet event. That's going to be looping. We tick the looping box and we're going to promote that to a variable as well. Promote to variable and we call that one firing timer. Now this stuff at the end here we can actually get rid of. We don't actually need this because our gun um, has already got the fire bullet and we just copied it over. So if you want to you can just get rid of this and just put fire bullet in. In its place compile and there we go that's going to call the fire bullet event which is this one here which tells the game to start shooting a bullet and replicate that across and so everyone will see that bullet getting shot and then and so on and so forth so there we go we're going to do that and that's going to happen on the true here start shooting but we also got stop shooting to worry about the stop shooting very simply all you're going to do is you're going to create a new function here for stop shooting and we're going to take out our firing timer and do clear and then validate timer by handle. Okay, and there we go. So if I go back to my player character when I'm interacting with this thing, just make sure it's been set up correctly. Uh, we're going to go to input axis uh, fire. Uh, so is firing here is true. If I release the fire key, I want to do this one again. 
but I want to make it false. Okay. Wow, save. Right, so I hit play now, and oh, lost it. There it is. This one. Okay, so now if I click, you can see the gun firing multiple shots, and they die. Now I've let go of the key and you still see it keeps on going, so let's fix that. Yep, so I didn't put in the stop shooting here, my mistake. Stop shooting. There we go. I'll save. Now every time we do start shooting, uh, we are going to do a current ammo check. We also want to be doing this check as well on the fire bullet, otherwise we're going to go beneath zero, which we don't want. So let's just copy this, go to event graph and go to the fire bullet. I'm just going to put that right at the front here. Make sure that only does it when we've got bullets to shoot. And that will have nothing when it's false because it's not going to auto reload unless you let go of the key and push button to shoot again. Auto reload. So hit play. Okay. So now I've got a machine gun. Let go and and it will go down to zero, stop shooting, and hit R to reload, it is, and now I can shoot and kill my character. And that brings us to the conclusion of chapter three in our fire team tutorial series. We've now got a game where we can shoot and kill other players and they respawn back in. Now the other half of that is we need to score the players based upon what they achieve in game. So if they're playing deathmatch, we need to score them one point for each kill. So what we're going to do in the next chapter is work on the scoreboard system. So you can see the score in the left hand corner and that will be updated based upon whatever game type they're in. You can watch the next chapter right now on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where all my videos are available early before anyone else from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for supporting me and the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. I'm ready to play now. Put me in the game now. Came here to prove it, I'm ready to do it, I can't be afraid now Put me on the stage now, I'm ready to rage now I feel like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out My time, my time, none of you people can tell me to stop This time, like the last time you